So, so sorry. Just, just to kind of get through it as quickly as possible, but then we'll talk about anything like you're saying, like we're having mistakes and stuff. So I guess the one issue was major mana potions have actually gone up in price all of a sudden. But I want to say that healers, healers, they have a lot less to consume than DPS, especially. I'm not going to take DPS. It's not consuming, by the way. And I don't want to. It should be the same way with healers. I'm really kind of upset that healers class, aren't popping yeah. like a one major mana potion per boss. You know, um, like that's kind of upsetting to me that they're not popping at least one per boss, maybe two, and not popping a dark rune for patchwork. I'd be, I'm, I'm kind of upset about that because it's not really that big of a cost. They were like a gold like a week ago. They're five gold now. A week from now, they're probably going to be back down to a gold. Like, oh yeah, I always pop them for bosses. Yeah, well, there's some people. I'm not saying you that don't pop them because maybe we didn't make that an actual necessary thing they needed to know about because some of these people might be alts, right? And yeah. So our expectations going forward is, uh, well, Poop Butcher says what, what needs to be happened. Uh, pe people just need to pop more major mana potions. That's just, that's, that goes to all healers actually. Um, eight of eight tier two should be great. Uh, if you, if you can get that, some people just can't get that yet or they're working that's on it. That's a priest it. exclusive thing. By the yeah. Way. I don't know. Of course. Like, of course. Yeah. Right. Um, you know, there's a lot of things you can read through here uh, that's going on, but I guess the one thing was mostly using flash heal. Is that you're saying? Um, yeah, there, like it, to, it, it fights under two minutes. Flash heal is all you'll need to get through. Like it will, it will save whoever needs to be saved in that time. Like I know heals more mana efficient, but like realistically, it's just not good, and it's gonna be it's just gonna be a lot of overheal. That's not gonna like that's not gonna actually like get like the heals through to the target that you need to get yeah. through to. And I also want to make this kind of requirement for every priest, uh, 3% hit. You should have at least 3% hit, uh, in your spell gear. It's not that hard to get. You can actually just straight up buy it with bloodvine. And if you're not comfortable with it, maybe we can find a priest who can mind control it, but you need to have it in case you need to do it. Cause it's honestly, I don't know. It's, it's not that hard, right? The whole, uh, the thing. mind control priest need 3% for Resuvius yeah. and 4% for, for the for Fairlina, yeah. yeah. If you mind control Fairlina an uh, ad and it let's say heart beats off, can you re mind control it? Like, because I do I not, know. I do it not know. It has the debuff on it. You can't. I don't, I don't think those get a debuff. Only the Vesuvius ones do, right? Because they just die usually when you use their ability. Yeah, they die. They when you okay. sacrifice them, they're dead. Anyway, we'll make sure one has four percent hit that can do the job. That's yeah. the thing. At least one. Um, so I'll make sure that's a thing. Gothic, you know, uh, use flash shield stuff like that, and make sure you uh, just shackle, 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 shackle. Um, things of niche nature. A uh, one priest for Maxna needs to be doing power word shield. So I guess it's to be talked about before. I don't know who talks about this or they talk to each other, but we'll make sure this is a conversation piece. Um. So one tank, make sure they have to. Be, they're only powered shielding the tank, right? That's that. That's well, not the and only you, thing. And you time it so that it it lands right. Ideally, you want one priest. I, I don't think that we have an eight out of eight T two priest in the raid. Yeah. But ideally, you want one priest casting a greater renew or a greater heal on the on the main tank right before everyone gets stunned so that there's a greater renew uh, a greater heal renew on the on the main tank a renew on the main tank and a power word shield on the main okay. tank okay yeah um also uh i guess a four horseman you know you know your assignment and uh please just make sure you know what you're doing it's i guess hall heal i guess it's not really pre specific you just heal right it's not like a pre specific thing it's just heal um anyway uh, next on to shaman. Okay. Uh, I talked to Yacht a bit. He just kind of looked over our logs and I talked to him a bit about what he, we should do. But for example, for patchwork, we're just going to only be doing chain healing. Even, I guess you can lesser heal, great or whatever, but it's fine if you chain heal. That's what we mean. But this also means melee should not dip whatsoever. If you dip, you're basically going to be killing the tank because we're going to be healing you anyway. And you're just taking heals from the healers. So... We're not a speed run. You don't dip unless you're a speed run, to be honest. Well, and in that case, you need to make sure Mayway are staying below the fourth tank. Then. Yep, that's it. Yep, and if the mm -hmm. thing is, if a tank dies, then the result is a couple melee probably will die. 
Um, but if, somebody needs to put on a shield, probably. Yeah, exactly. I, I would suggest if or, you or at that point you could have all the melee dip if a tank dies. But well, then you, the thing is, the thing is, we have we're having a thing. We're not doing that. We are having a thing. Shamans would just chain heal. So because he's, they're chain healing, they're not going to change the strategy in the middle of a fight to do this. We're just going to say no dipping. Yeah. Melee may die in the result. I know of you've it. asked. You've asked them not to chain heal. They still do it. Well, so. no, I've I've asked. Should they around. chain heal? What's yes or no? Yes or no? But I think it's yeah. a worse strat. But it's, a, it's your raid. Yeah, shamans will chain heal. We're, yeah, we're gonna yeah, chain. I feel heal. like sh trying to tell a shaman not to chain heal. We're just like, gonna chain heal. I talked to Yad about fiber. it and his opinion about it. He says you can do either one, but uh -huh. chain healing's fine. I think it's appropriate for a G bid pug. I agree. That yeah. sounds good. Um, also, he's just saying pop more major manas. This is generally for all healers. Please pop more major matters. Um, also for patchwork, I guess dark runes are kind of a weird thing because they are expensive, but it's not because they're expensive. It's because sometimes you don't even need that much mana. Um, if you pop a dark rune, at the very least, pop it at patchwork for sure. Like it, this, this one needs exclusively, definitely, you're going to need at least one or two dark runes for this fight because of how much healing you're going to be doing. Um, any other fight? Uh, do, you, do you use any dark runes, demonic runes for any other fight? Puba? uh let's see last night i did it was m mostly you're gonna want it on saf kt honestly any fight that's like that hits over three minutes so i think thaddeus before po popping a dark rune or a demonic rune before you, like on fugan and instalag is fine do not pop a dark rune or a demonic rune on thaddeus himself though can if you're smart and know what you're doing. No, you no. If you, just, pop it, no if you pop it, if you pop it while you have positive or negative charge and you're stacked, you you're will kill dead. yourself yeah. because what it does is it deals yeah. damage and it deals you'll deal 200 percent more damage, which is like a six thousand shadow dark run. If you pop it right after the clarity goes off, it won't. Yeah, bad. but it I don't. Is it necessary? Are, are people running that low on mana? It is a mana intensive fight, and that, that I think I even wrote in my thing that it's acceptable to use heal in that case since it's more efficient but um okay awesome cool and then uh all... i also had one from calzarath so it's kind of a weird little little fucked up here okay so uh because he didn't like type it out for some re he typed it out and then put it in an, in an image for what some reason do. you know um so here we go oh my brother went to olive garden Big. Yeah, didn't even like, hey, can I get you something? No. Fucker. All right. Anyway. It's the uh, kind of thing if you, go, you gotta go and as soon as you. Well, Druids and Nax. Okay. Uh, primary role is fairy firing. All right. This is like your expectation. Um, There's two Druids. I guess it. Does it change? Does this change at all? Tells that there's two Druids? Is one not no. a fairy fire bot? No, it does not. Just both assume. You're both fairy firing everything. I mean, okay. you'll there'll be times when you're not able to cast fairy fire on the second or third target, and no. a the other druid, which I think is Fanny or Mannheim, um, they they're gonna have to be like casting fairy fire at the start of the fight. Okay. Okay. Anyway, um, so primary role is fairy fire. It should be a 20, 25%, uh, 25 of all your casts. You should have 400 total casts in a full clear. And so I guess I'll kind of say this, like, for example, me as a feral druid, um, I mean, you shouldn't actually rely on me to do anything as a feral druid because feral fairy fire is very inconsistent as in you don't have, well, I guess you wouldn't really have spell hit any to begin with, but the issue is, is, uh, it's on like a cooldown and you can, you can probably assume I'm going to pop it on the boss like the whole time. But you should probably still cast it at the very beginning of a fight. Um, but, for example, I had 400. And then Fanny, for some reason, only had 20. Even though I told him you probably should be fairy firing a lot. But I want to make sure that you need to do, like, a lot of fairy firing. This is what speeds up the raid. I don't care if your healing is complete dog shit. That's just kind of no... That's what kind of druids are known for because they're fairy firing. Because this is actually what helps kill everything faster is fairy firing everything. Um... Intervening for a priest, use your vape pretty much on cooldown. Um, it helps keep the raid moving, and uh, especially on the trash. I think that's a pretty good thing. Uh, rank 3, healing touch, is faster than the other ranks. 
very mana efficient, but HPS is low. Very good go to two spell. This is kind of like a, uh, I guess you know you should kind of know this, but maybe for Nax, you know, um, try to mix these up because this is you know he uses these a lot. Rank four healing touch, good size heal. Blah 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 blah. Rank five to eleven. Weave this in as your mana allows it. Now the thing is, if you're casting, let's say rank four healing touch or whatever, right, and you're never going oom, you should be upping your healing touches, like the ranks of them. And then upping your mana consumption, right? I think is it the same kind of? Do you have like the same kind of rule with shamans or priests at all? Like, you should be actually upping your rank if like mana allows it. Hello. I mean, I I, I have three ranks of flash heals on my bar at all times. So. Yeah. Do you up the rank if like if if the if the fight allows it, or do you just always kind of stick to the same game plan? No, I I try to fill it. The way I do it is I try to fill the, the health bar back to the top with with one of my spells. So okay, if it's if, if a max rank's needed, I'll do a max rank. Okay, um, I guess he's also HPS saying here, for... um, Moon Glow is it the best spec based on the makeup of spells? Improve regrowth doesn't benefit you as much as it does in the earlier phases, which I, I agree with because it's very mana cons. Uh, and regrowth is very mana consuming, and right now, especially in these G bids, um, you know, fights are a little longer. It might be really nice to actually, you know, have a little bit more mana. Um, I guess he's saying for certain things, patchwork is very specific. Sticking to healing assignment is extremely very important. Um, not one, but your assignment should you get a global cooldown. Um, Spring seven is a good thing to do. You know, you heal constantly. Um, Kazra, are you here? Can you, are you here right now? It seems like you have a lot more to say, but it just you didn't have enough room to screenshot this. So I guess there's like a lot of little things going on here. Do you have two piece tier twos? Roll rejuve on rogues, pretty much all bo all boss fights, and then rank rank six for mana efficiency. This is because they get like to get uh, energy, energy back, yeah. yeah, which is pretty pretty freaking OP. You're doing this is another way you can increase the rage DPS. How much energy do you get back? Like 10? Or is it like 8? Eight? 8. It's like a weird number. Like it's a crazy. Okay. Yeah, it's it like sounds eight. like really good. Over a fight, you get it's like, what, maybe good. like like 4 procs? That's like that's like really good. Holy shit. Yeah, I mean, if you get 1 proc, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Any free energy you get is a rose is insanely good. Okay, give me one second. Because you only get 20 per tick. Like a couple minutes. Alright. Sorry about that. And, uh... Mixna, if you you have to you need to have abolish poison running, rejuve and regrowth rolling on the tank for the web spray. Um, for example, when I'm there, I'm gonna be doing abolish poison, so you can just worry about rejuve and regrowth. But I'm only gonna do abolish poison right before the web spray. Otherwise, keep this up on the on the tank the whole time. Um, whoever's the highest healing druid, right, should roll the hots. Um, so I guess it's also something you should coordinate with the other druid who has whoever has the most healing. Should she, they should be the only one doing hots. And the other one should be just only doing a healing touch. Um, yeah, I I guess that's what we're saying about druids here. I wish I can copy paste this. I'll get this to him soon, so uh, we can uh, put it in here, right? And a couple of general heal improvements I'm push pushing here. It's just I want to see major, more major mana potions popped. I don't know. Um, if mages should be popping more or other casters should be, I would say probably if they have nothing else to do, right? Um, and if they need the mana. The thing is, if we can increase uh, how much he mana the healers are getting back over like the course of a raid, that's the faster we can do pulse. Because that's usually what's holding up raids in general is the healer's mana. Um, yeah. And they're just... You, you know, usually they're ridiculously cheap all the time. But, right, I guess right now they're expensive for some reason. But they'll, trust me, they'll go back down. And, okay, yeah. Um, anyone have any questions about healing or even anything, like, about the raid? Maybe? Question mark? It's going great. Great. I'm awesome. having fun. We're going to do one more awesome thing before... Uh...